Imagine a bear so massive that it dwarfs even the largest grizzly bears we see today. This creature isn't a product of mythology or a storybook. It's a real animal that once roamed the earth during the Pleistocene epoch, a period spanning from approximately 1.2 million to 500,000 years ago. Meet Arctotherium angustidens, the South American short-faced bear, and the largest bear known to have ever existed. This bear was a true giant of the animal kingdom. Fossil evidence has allowed scientists to estimate its size and weight with remarkable accuracy. This bear towered over most modern-day animals and early humans of the time. When it comes to weight, estimates suggest that Arctotherium angustidens could have reached twice the weight of the largest polar bears, which are the heaviest bears alive today. The sheer size of this bear places it among the largest terrestrial carnivores that have ever lived. The story of Arctotherium angustidens begins with the discovery of remarkable fossil evidence that has captivated paleontologists and reshaped our understanding of prehistoric life. Among these fossils, one find stands out as particularly significant, a massive humerus bone that has become the cornerstone in estimating the size and stature of this colossal bear. The discovery of Arctotherium angustidens fossils primarily took place in Argentina, a region rich in Pleistocene-era deposits. The most critical fossil find, a humerus or upper arm bone, was unearthed in the Buenos Aires province, providing scientists with an extraordinary glimpse into the size and strength of this ancient bear. This humerus, when analyzed, measured nearly 1.5 meters in length, an unprecedented size for a bear and significantly larger than any known modern bear species. The size of this humerus bone alone allowed paleontologists to estimate the overall dimensions of Arctotherium angustidens. By comparing the proportions of the humerus with those of modern bears, scientists could extrapolate the probable size and weight of the animal. This comparison is a common practice in paleontology, where the dimensions of known living animals are used as a reference to understand the scale of extinct species. In the case of Arctotherium angustidens, these comparisons led to the estimation that the bear could have weighed up to 1,600 kilograms and stood around 3.4 meters tall when on its hind legs. But the humerus wasn't the only fossil evidence that contributed to the identification of Arctotherium angustidens. Other skeletal remains, including fragments of the skull, jawbones, and other limb bones, have been found in the same and nearby regions. These fossils provided additional details about the bear's physical structure, such as its short, broad snout, a characteristic trait of the short-faced bears, and its robust limbs, which suggest it was built for power rather than speed. The process of identifying Arctotherium angustidens involved careful analysis and comparison with other species in the bear family, particularly those in the genus Arctodus, which includes the North American short-faced bears. Paleontologists noted similarities in bone structure but also recognized the distinct differences that warranted classification into a separate genus, Arctotherium. The genus name itself reflects its origins. Arctotherium, meaning bear beast, and angustidens, referring to the relatively narrow teeth compared to its North American relatives. This bear was an imposing figure not just because of its sheer size, but also due to its unique physical characteristics that set it apart from other bears. These features, its short face, powerful limbs, and robust body, were not just incidental traits, but likely crucial adaptations that helped this giant bear thrive as a dominant predator in its environment. One of the most distinctive features of Arctotherium angustidens was its short face, a trait it shared with other members of the short-faced bear family. The bear's skull was broad and had a shortened snout, giving it a more compact facial structure compared to modern bears. This short face was likely an adaptation that enhanced its bite force, 
allowing Arctotherium to crush bones and consume tough, fibrous plant material or large prey. A stronger bite would have been advantageous in a Pleistocene ecosystem where large, thick-skinned herbivores like giant ground sloths and glyptodons were potential prey. This skull structure would have made it easier for Arctotherium to deliver powerful bites, break open bones to access marrow, and process a varied diet that could include both flesh and plants. The limbs of Arctotherium angustidens were incredibly powerful, with large, robust bones that supported its massive frame. These limbs were likely adapted for strength rather than speed, making the bear well-suited for grappling with large prey or scavenging carcasses from other predators. The strong forelimbs, in particular, would have been useful for pulling down large animals or manipulating heavy objects. In a time when megafauna roamed the land, having the physical strength to overpower or fend off other large predators would have given Arctotherium a significant advantage. The bear's hind limbs, equally robust, supported its ability to stand on its hind legs, which not only made it appear more intimidating, but also allowed it to reach higher into trees for food or scan its environment for threats or opportunities. Standing upright, Arctotherium angustidens could have used its sheer size to assert dominance over other predators and secure the best feeding grounds. Overall, the body was built for power and endurance. Its large, barrel-shaped torso housed strong muscles that would have supported its massive weight and provided the stamina needed for long periods of activity, whether hunting, foraging or patrolling its territory. The bear's body was likely covered in thick fur, helping it withstand the cooler climates of the Pleistocene. Although the exact nature of its fur is not well documented, this robust body structure also suggests that Arctotherium was an omnivorous generalist, capable of adapting its diet to whatever was available. While it certainly had the physical prowess to take down large prey, it may have also foraged for plants, roots and fruits, much like modern bears do today. This dietary flexibility would have been crucial in an environment where food sources could vary dramatically with the seasons and climatic changes. The combination of a powerful bite, strong limbs and a robust body made Arctotherium angustidens an apex predator of its time. With its massive size and formidable physical characteristics, it likely occupied a top-tier position in the Pleistocene food web of South America. The Pleistocene epoch in South America was home to an array of large herbivores that would have been potential prey for Arctotherium angustidens. Among these were giant ground sloths, glyptodonts, large armored mammals similar to armadillos, and toxodonts, large hippopotamus-like herbivores. These animals, many of which were slow-moving or relatively defenseless against a predator of Arctotherium's size, would have been prime targets for this massive bear. While it's likely that Arctotherium could have taken down large prey, it may have also engaged in scavenging, particularly when fresh kills made by other predators were available. Given its size, this bear could have easily intimidated or displaced other carnivores, such as saber-toothed cats or large flightless predatory birds from their kills. As one of the largest terrestrial carnivores of its time, Arctotherium angustidens likely played a crucial role in shaping the Pleistocene ecosystems of South America. By preying on large herbivores, it would have helped regulate the populations of these species preventing any one species from becoming too dominant. This predatory pressure would have maintained a balance in the ecosystem, promoting biodiversity by allowing a range of species to coexist. Moreover, Arctotherium's role as a scavenger would have contributed to the cycling of nutrients in its environment. By consuming carcasses left by other predators, the bear would have helped to break down and recycle organic matter, returning essential nutrients to the soil and supporting plant growth. 
The extinction of Arctotherium marks the end of an era dominated by some of the most formidable terrestrial predators the world has ever seen. While the exact reasons for the extinction of this giant bear are still debated among scientists, a combination of factors likely contributed to its disappearance from the Pleistocene landscapes of South America. One of the most significant factors contributing to the extinction of Arctotherium was the dramatic climate change that occurred towards the end of the Pleistocene epoch around 12,000 years ago. This period, known as the last glacial maximum, was characterized by significant warming that led to the melting of ice sheets and the retreat of glaciers. As the climate warmed, the ecosystems that Arctotherium and other megafauna had adapted to began to change rapidly. The vast grasslands and open woodlands that had supported large herbivores and, in turn, predators like Arctotherium started to shrink. These changes led to a reduction in the populations of large prey animals, which were essential for the survival of such a large predator. With its primary food sources dwindling, Arctotherium would have faced increasing difficulty in finding enough sustenance to support its enormous body. As the environment changed, this bear likely faced intensified competition from other predators. The arrival of humans in South America added a new formidable competitor to the mix. Early humans were skilled hunters, capable of taking down large prey with advanced tools and coordinated hunting strategies. They not only competed directly with Arctotherium for the same prey, but may have also hunted the bear itself, further pressuring its population. Additionally, other large predators, such as saber-toothed cats and possibly even packs of dire wolves, may have competed with Arctotherium for the remaining prey. These predators, potentially better adapted to the changing conditions, could have outcompeted the giant bear. Although Arctotherium angustidens eventually went extinct, its legacy lives on through the fossil records that have been uncovered over the years. These fossils have provided invaluable insights into the life and times of one of the largest bears to have ever walked the Earth. They help scientists piece together the ecological dynamics of the Pleistocene, offering a glimpse into a world where giant predators like Arctotherium played crucial roles in their ecosystems. The study of Arctotherium and other megafauna from this period also highlights the profound impact that climate change and human activities can have on large species. The extinction of such a formidable predator underscores the fragility of even the most powerful creatures when faced with rapid environmental changes and increasing competition. Today, the fossilized remains of Arctotherium continue to inspire awe and curiosity, reminding us of the incredible diversity of life that once existed on our planet. This bear was truly a beast, but it's just one of many terrifying creatures that roamed our planet in the past. What do you think? Could you have faced off with this giant bear? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you thought Arctotherium was wild, you won't want to miss my latest video on prehistoric Asia, where I dive into even more fearsome animals that would give you chills. Trust me, you don't want to miss it. Thank you for watching, and I will see you there.